Hey everybody and welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing uh, what's in my camera bag. But as you can see in front of you, I don't really use a camera bag. So we're gonna do what's in the hard cases, uh, camera cases for my camera equipment. So there's a couple reasons why I use uh, hard cases that are uh, watertight, airtight, and all that instead of using a, a, a camera bag. Um, one of the biggest reasons is we travel a lot and our stuff gets thrown around pretty good uh, in the truck or the trailer or in the car or whatever we happen to be taking. So I normally take out whatever uh, camera I'm using as the vlog camera for that weekend. I take that out with me, I have that on my lap or sitting in between the seats and the rest of the stuff I have no fear and no worry that I can throw in the back of the trailer or the back of the truck or in a trunk and uh, it's going to be fine by the time that we get there. So that's one of the reasons why I do it. Another reason as you can see in front of you with all these cases, uh, I like to customize things or like the wife calls it, I like to andrify things. So I love stickers. Uh, I love making things my own and uh, making it stand out and supporting our sponsors and just making cool stuff with stickers. So uh, that's what I've done. That's why I like the hard cases. You can't really do that with a camera bag too much. You can and you can't. So I really like doing it with the cases. So that's another reason. But the biggest reason why is I like taking the camera equipment uh, into the staging area and just leaving it there. And in hard cases that are watertight and airtight, I can just set them off to the side. I don't have to worry about it. Guys might trip over them, kick them, uh, put paint, uh, whatnot, liquids, you name it, uh, all over the cases, and I don't have to worry about anything getting ruined. Uh, I've learned from experience, so that's why I've switched to the hard cases, and that's really why I do that instead of the camera bags. So uh, these are the four cases that I bring with me to uh, pretty much every paintball event uh, that we go to. Um, the drone is about the only one that some events I don't bring to. Uh, it just all depends if we're uh, by airports or close residential areas or there's just too many people because I make sure 110% that I am following all of uh, NAV Canada and the FAA uh, regulations for the drone. So we'll get into that a little more but I make sure that I follow all the regulations, the rules and everything else. The last thing I need to do is get into trouble and get a huge freaking fine. Uh, for doing something stupid just to get you know, maybe a cool shot or something like that uh, Trust me the fines and everything else Beyond the meaning are not worth it. So uh, Let's jump in to the small case This is the smallest case that I carry uh, It's in my gear bag all the time and uh, it has my action cams uh, For whatever action cam I happen to be using that year. So this year I'm using the ghost XL uh, from Drift. That's the camera I'm using. Looking forward to using that. Up at the uh, second week in August at Wasaga Beach Paintball in Wasaga, Ontario. And then I have the helmet cam that I've showed you guys earlier in videos so that I strap onto my mask. And uh, that's all the footage so far this year you guys have been seeing is uh, from this camera. So I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so that's in the little case, like I said, that's normally in my gear bag. The other case is uh, the Insta360 Ace Pro. So I've uh, done two videos already of this, so I'm not gonna dive into this, but uh, in this case, as you can see, I have everything that I need. I have my tripod, the Insta360, my road mic, and two spare batteries. So I got three batteries all together, so I'm good to rock and roll for a week, a weekend, whatever I need. Uh, I have everything I need all ready to go in this case. So, and uh, from the other previous videos, if you guys have been watching them, um, this is my made, main vlogger uh, this year. So uh, make sure you guys check out those videos. I'll put the link up above. Uh, check out those videos uh, if you haven't seen them already. Uh, my third case is the Mavic Mini, DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. I got a custom case for it off of Amazon that carries everything. It's got the battery, the remote, the accessories, and the drone. That's absolutely fantastic. It's well worth the price. I think it's like $60. And you get the case 
that most of the time if uh, you guys are into hard cases hard cases alone are about $60 uh, not including getting the custom laser engraved stuff for everything to fit the Mavic Mini. Uh, this happens to be the first one. Uh, not really looking to upgrade because uh, out of all honesty it really hasn't changed that much. The only thing that has really changed in the Mavic Mini is they've gone the 4K. Uh, I don't shoot in 4K because it makes it easier for YouTube and watching on your phones, computer, your TV, whatever you guys happen to be watching it on. Uh, it's just a lot easier of uh, not shooting I find in 4k so that's just my personal opinion and what I use so that's the Mavic Mini the first one uh, that's my drone and like I said that is about the only case that may not come to me to an event it just all depends on its location if it's close to an airport or anything like that like PRZ was uh, I don't even bother bringing it and then uh, some events in the states I don't bring it like Sherwood Forest there's really no point because you got to fly uh, extremely low to get under the canopy of the forest and uh, I just don't bring it it's not worth it so and my big case the big case has the old workhorse in it has the TG um, the Canon T4i which I happen to be shooting on right now uh, but that's this case where it uh, belongs so I have it have the camera have a 10 by 20 millimeter lens that I always have with me for uh, vlogging and then I have my road mic that's always with me as well I have uh, microfiber 70 by 75 by 300 lens if I happen to not be vlog vlogging with this camera and I want to go out and get close-ups of the guys uh, when they're out playing paintball and just uh, whatever else if I just want to reach out and touch somebody that's the lens that I got and then uh, I have the mighty 50 uh, for close-up um, product uh, videos that if I, I need or anything like that I have that uh, with me uh, to get the nice close crisp thing I got spare batteries uh, spare lens caps and then the biggest thing that I have that I'm not using right now is I have the, if I can get it out, the Gorilla Pod. So that's also what I have in here. So this is um, my backup mainly, and it's uh, all ready to go. It's got uh, absolutely everything that I need in it. I don't need uh, anything else. So if the Insta360 fails on me, grab this case and I am ready to rock all batteries are good to go uh, the only other case that I don't have out that I'll probably do a separate video on is I made a charging case um, so I have another hard case that has all my chargers in it that I need so all I have to do is uh, open up the case put the batteries in run an extension cord to a generator to an inverter uh, in my truck or anything like that and I can charge all my batteries all at once and I don't have to worry about a million different plugs and everything like that and taking up a whole bunch of space on the guys I just need one plug and I'm good to go so that is it for my 2024 what's in my camera bag so uh, if you guys like this video make sure you click the like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything coming out of this channel and I will see you guys next video. Peace.